feet. Where is he gone? Oh my god. Where's the dog? Alfie! Come on. This is an interview for um, Alfie now and Kira, he's a divisor. What are you doing today then Alf? Are you going up the hill or are you going to the beach? What is it today? Are you going to play ball? Oh, there's your choices. You can go for a walk, Ooh. you can go to the beach or you can play ball. Oh, I think they're not there. If I play that black in slow motion, I think there's a nod there for the ball. Ugly doke. That was your moment of fame, Alfie. So this is our first night of camping at a uh, new place before the storm comes. And here we are. Oh, is it going to go into focus? Let's have a look. This is the calm before the storm. So we're just going to see what what happens next, basically, because we've been told there's been horrific. There are some horrific winds coming in, and uh, will this lot survive? Uh, air windbreakers look lovely at the moment. There's no wind. Everybody is oblivious to the pending disaster. It's a bit like the Titanic. Let's have a look in here. Oh yes. Nice, warm and cosy. But... Let's see what tomorrow uh, brings. Hey, Bernie. We have company. A VW T5 with awning and the roof up. Very nice. And if you can see the bike's leaning a little bit, that's because I crashed into the frigging table in when I was putting it away. But it's leaning away, so if anything, it's uh, it's useful, really. And it's still okay, still safe. Half he doesn't mind. The half. And Kira doesn't care as long as I throw the ball somewhere over there. Should have been a poet. <laughs> Try and ignore the dogs. So um, I'm going to show you my bike. It's called an XL Earthquake with disc brakes. Mm. Proper man's bike, complete with the cracked tires from 1936, I think they were from, and uh, rusty pedals, as, uh, as one should. I think it looks okay. Must admit, a bit on the heavy side. I've promised myself this time I'm going to go and have a go at that hill over there. But that is breen down and I'm going to have a go at um, cycling up it in my Excel earthquake and what do uh, what do the lads do when the girls go away for a little bit yeah I'll tell you what the lads do grab a friggin beer come on yeah Oh yes, and they'll never know. down as I just said and uh, yeah I'm gonna move the car I mean look at it looks lovely over there if you come this way it's, uh, well stay tuned uh, oh yes these are coping very well in the wind look at that perfect oh. <laughs> that's them taken care of and I actually folded them into them little circles as the wind uh, is picking up now honk is dead up there, I don't want that to go through the window do I move the camper 
or we'll just leave it where it is and have a beer. Hmm, what shall we do? Yeah. Beer wins every time. Get me a glass. So, there's some people out there putting a tent up in this wind. I mean, fair play to them. I think they've got it up. But uh, I wonder if they know there's a, a storm coming in. There's the SC Rescue. Having a look. Yeah. The other field apparently is uh, absolutely all the tents are blown away in the other field over there. Not good at all. And all they want to do is play ball. Uh, I may have to just get him in the van, do you think? No, nah, well, when he won't, uh, I'll have to take him off and get him off for another little walk and probably have a cup of tea and then get him in the van. See if I can get him to lie down. We're still here. The flag is there to show me which way the wind is blowing. And it hasn't changed direction in hours, so we're just hoping it doesn't turn around because I like it blowing that way. It's blowing up the camp out. I don't want it coming head on. The camp is really rocking now. You can't feel it, but we are. We're nailed down, but we're definitely rocking. And as the girls will show you, the hair. They said the hair would be a good indicator of which way the wind was blowing. Yeah, I told you the wind was blowing that way. Yeah, there is your problem. Yeah, I told you. It's going to blow the same way as the flag's blowing. I told you that. My God. I wonder what the do in a windstorm. Yeah, they have some fun. Here's an, uh, an update from inside the uh, pen liner and uh, we are getting well buffeted now. It's really, uh, really starting to have it now. Well, I can tell you so far the roof is still on. Yeah. Definitely the windiest. We've been windy before in the garden, but we've never been exposed like this as we are now. I don't know if you're picking this up, but we're getting well rocked here. This is just to show you how much the, <coughs> the the wind is pushing the camper. myself wondering where, what would possibly go wrong. Worst case scenario in the pen liner in these horrific winds that we're having in Storm. Storm Francis. Apparently Storm Francis is the first storm to be named ever in England in August and we 
a camping in it and I can see heavy rain clouds coming in over there at the moment everything's okay touch wood yeah I can see the, I can see the roof flexing feel the wind blowing but uh, the people that camped up over there they've packed up and gone I mean there's no way that their, their tent was going to survive I did fight it from earlier and there's still some hardened campers out there clouds the black clouds it seems to be the weather seems to be going that way because we're in south west england and the, it seems to be going that way now the flag i don't know if you can see it's up there flapping away it's not there for show to say that we're british although we are it's to let me know which way the wind is blowing and it's telling me the wind is blowing that way so it's hitting this side wall and going up at the moment what we don't want is it to turn round and get more fierce and hit this wall here straight on windy jesus christ i've had to put that like that so they can have that tomorrow for dinner so on well, we're, we're talking to youtube at the moment you know? ah. so uh oh, could be blaspheming god what did I say? Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, I'll have to edit that now, will I? Oh, I don't know how much of this will come out. But it's just after nine o'clock at night. Whoa. Oh, and we are reaching gusts of over 50 mile an hour, approaching 60. still on, I don't know how much of this you're going to see, but I can't edit it. It is blowing a gale. <laughs> oh, <laughs> strange lady with the washing. But, um, yeah, Alfie still wants to play ball, City Billy. But it is looking like the rain. Like miss us, it looks black over there. As you can see, I, don't, I don't know how much of this you're going to, you're going to see, but it is black over there. But the English pen liner is uh, having its first storm. It's in its first storm out of the garden, obviously because of the lockdown. Where's Alfie going? And uh, yeah, we've got this all flipping night. Oh yeah, you're sitting in there, are you? Yeah, you wait till the fucking roof blows off. You wait till the roof blows off, my dear, I should say. But um, yeah, we'll just go over here, have a quick look. Yeah, she's hanging on. See someone's broken off, oh, you can't see that, but someone's broken off there. Come on you two. I'll get these two dogs in now. Come on, Alfie! Yeah. Oh come on, Alfie! Where's he gone? Oh my god. Where's the dog? Alfie! Okay, so <clears throat> we all made it back in. I uh, we're all a bit, a little bit windswept. Phew! Blowing like a train coming through. But um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting night. Okay. So it's the 25th of August, gone 10 o'clock at night. Oh, yeah, the gusts coming through. It's making the wine the before. Let's have a look. Show me the dust. That's fair. Fine, shaking my wine glass. You're fizzing the wine up. So T Rex is coming. 
Jurassic Park. Look, open the blind, you see big eye. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the goat? <laughs> And we're in What's the, on the other end. Cheers. Unlike. The more wine you drink, the more the wind disappears. <laughs> so, here we are on the next day. A few people survived. I have seen occasions where all the tents are in the trees, over in Wales once. And we, an English pen liner, has survived. Storm Francis. Storm Francis at Gusta, it should be. And I'm a bit fed up of wind now, but I'm still hoping to take my take this antique of a bike up that hill. But they said it's going to rain. So let's see what happens. A moderate breeze today, not a hurricane that we've, we had for 24 hours. That storm has now passed and we're still here. Oh yes. Raining again. Let's have a look. As you can see we're taking all the gear in. And the flag has stopped going like a, a freight train now, but unfortunately, it's looking like a sinking ship. Oh dear. Okay, we've had to do a runner out of the campsite because of severe weather warnings for tomorrow. And uh, we've got to negotiate this muddy gate. So we've got to go really slow through here because it wants to throw you into the fucking posts. Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, okay, just a bit made it. I'm just going to negotiate this one now. Start just being. Just in time. Oh, thank God for that. We just got through that field there. Just checking the straps. Everything's on. we we'll hang down there. These are on for just the support, just in case. <coughs> Bikes on. And I'll show you the field we just navigated through. Look at that. That is turning into mud now. And there's a few campers left over there, but they're not the traders like ours. But we'd just gone through that and we, we was losing traction just about halfway up there. We was uh, sent a text message of severe weather warnings for our area tomorrow. I know I've got a bright light out, a bright to light out there. Toot and flute are safe. Not that there. We're anchored there. We didn't get any rain coming through here. That's nice and tight. These are holding on. 
a me a bike that's been to the seaside. First time in its life is nailed down. We are off. Traffic coming into the Bristol Bridge. Don't you just love Bristol? The motorway is flooding. Get the water off that truck. I think that's going to be the end of our journey. I think that might be shot in there. I mean, my God, and then. It's slowly on the slip road for the M6 South, which is our exit. Traffic lights to let the more idiots back into the, into the already overloaded traffic system. We're so lucky to have this space here for um, drying everything out. This looks soaked. Camping, I think a lot of people, oh, they look at the tents and the trailers and such and think oh that's lovely but they don't realise if it gets wet you know you've got to dry it out because I bought the t-shirt on it all rotting you fold it down wet and then it all creeps in I mean this is the new awning which which uh the new windbreaker which did very well I must admit the good thing about this windbreaker and as you'll probably have seen in the video it's uh, easy to take down in a storm. You just let the air out, let it drop, hold it onto the, its uh, pegs. Don't unpeg it from the uh, guide ropes. Oh, they're still soaking wet, they are. Uh, don't unpeg it from the guide ropes. Leave it pegged in and just uh, open the valves at each end. There's a valve at each end of the what? <coughs> let it collapse on itself. Then it doesn't blow away then. And you could just leave it there actually. It wouldn't go anywhere, but we had some severe wind, so. Yeah, all these are wet. Well, they're not so much wet, they're just damp. But as I say, we are very lucky to have a drawing room. Because without this space, that lot would be in the garden. And I'll show you the garden now. Oh, yeah, we've had to shut the door because it's raining. And we're lucky to have the storage to be able to put it up. But it was hailstoning a minute ago. But um, it's drying out in there, so it's back from its expedition, and uh, we'll give it a clean. Well, once it's dry. Hot tip time. Hot tip time, I said. Um, how do you know if this canister is full or empty, or half empty? Now, yeah, you can buy a gauge, they've got the gauges, you know, I've seen them. But you ain't got one of them, because I haven't got one either. Warm water over the, over the side of it. Let it creep over it. It's not, it's not hot boiling water, it's just warm water. You have to leave it for a bit. Use your left hand. Cold, 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 cold. Oh, it's getting warmer, warm, 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 warm. And then hot at the top. This cylinder is full and it feels See, it's heavy as well, it's full. Cold, 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 hot at the top. That was today's hot tip. Cheers!